I'm, hey, who ready for the prelude, man? Like the video if you ready for the prelude, man. But what's good, YouTube? Man, this your boy, Dude Dennis, man. Coming at y'all with another video, man. Hey, real quick before we start, hey. Everybody keep telling me, bro. Everybody keep messaging me. I don't have my friends texting me. They keep telling me that that they not getting my notifications. They telling me that they getting my notifications mad late. Like people getting my notifications late. They they not getting them at all. So what I want y'all to do right now, bro. I want y'all to go. We gonna do this together, bro. I want y'all to go on my page, on my channel. Click the bell and make sure it say always. Make sure you got it to where you always get every notification, man. Cause YouTube, YouTube doing some weird stuff. But anyway, let's get around into the video, man. So, bruh, Mike Wayne tweeted about NBA 2K18. First off, man, the prelude is literally three days away. The prelude come out Friday. So Bro, we finna go crazy. I know y'all finna go crazy. I know all y'all new 2K YouTubers, but y'all finna go crazy. All right, so um, the what the video about is about today is about the takeover mode. All right, takeover mode, as y'all can know, I mean, as y'all already know, man, the takeover mode is about the it's basically the grand badge, or if you hot on NBA 2K18, or if you got the grand badge on NBA 2K17, that's basically what it is. All right, so basically, bro. Uh, Mike Wayne tweeted out. Uh, Mike Wayne tweeted out, basically explaining what the takeover mode do. You feel me? Whatever the takeover mode do, that's what he basically explained. I'm, I'm gonna read it to y'all. But before we get into that, I got something else to tell y'all, bro. Now listen, I right? listen, bro. Archetypes, okay? This is my last time. Look, I. Promise you, this is my last time telling y'all this. Coming from your boy, Duke Dennis. This is my last time telling y'all this, man. Do not, I repeat, do not, bro. I'm look, I'm being real with y'all. Do not make the archetype that these big YouTubers tell you to make. Please, you know what you want to make. You know how you play, bro. You know all of this. Please don't make them. Please don't let these big YouTubers talk you into into making the worst archetype ever, bro. They only doing it for views, bro. And I'm telling you that because I'm gonna be doing it for views. I'm not gonna, bro. I'm not gonna be telling y'all like, yo, make this bill. It's gonna be op. Yo, make this bill. It's you ain't never gonna lose. I'm not gonna be saying all that, but I'm gonna be telling y'all the bills that I think is the most overpowered. The bill that the bills that I'm gonna be using, all right? But however, bro, all the other YouTubers they not gonna be as real as me, so they gonna be they gonna be saying stuff like this, bro. Make this bill. This bill is the most overpowered build in NBA 2K19. This bill can't be stopped. This bill is a demigod. Create the new demigod build in the prelude, bro. They gonna be doing all of that. And I'm telling y'all, bro, don't fall for it. That's all I'm going to tell y'all. That's just what I wanted to tell y'all. All right, by show of likes, bro, by show of likes, like the video, bro, if you was in my stream last night, bro. Shout out to everybody who came to the stream, bro. We went crazy, as always. Y'all know y'all go crazy with the streams. That's another reason to turn on notifications, bro. If, 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 if YouTube actually sent out my notifications, we would be so lit, bro. We would have like two, three thousand people in the stream, bro. But that's why I be telling y'all, bro, turn on notifications so y'all won't miss no streams and no videos. Now, like I said, like the video if you was in the stream yesterday, whatever, whatever. Now, let's get right into it. So, um, all right, so I screenshotted it. All right, I screenshotted it, bro. Mike Wayne is telling us how to turn on. How to turn on uh, takeover mode, what it's going to be used for, how you get it, and all of that all in one tweet, bro. He said this, bro. You build the takeover. I'm going to put it on the, on the screen so y'all won't trip, bro. You build the takeover meter to the... At, let me... Let me... Hold on. Let me start off. <laughs> you build the takeover meter to the activation threshold, right? When you're ready to use it, you click R3. 
if you decide to wait and you miss a bad shot, you get a foul, you get a turnover, etc., you lose your progress and have to start over. If you are 94 overall, both primary and secondary activate together. Now, hold on real quick. Hold on real quick. Did y'all hear what he said, bro? It ain't like NBA 2K17 and NBA 2K18. NBA 2K19 is a completely different beast, but the same animal. You feel me? <laughs> now, listen. Let's say... I'm going to explain the whole thing to y'all. Off the bus. Let's say... You get the takeover badge in the beginning of the game. But you want to wait until you close to the game is over with until you use it. But you get a foul. You now have to start over your whole takeover thing, bro. That's so wet. That is so wet, bro. You should not have to do that, bro. Now, I right, it's something new, it's something different, whatever. But as far as I'm concerned, bro, I want to have it on the whole time. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be penalized for getting like a foul. Why? I shouldn't be a foul shouldn't a foul shouldn't take away my takeover mode, bro. It should not make me start over, but it's it's that's dumb in my opinion. That's an L in my opinion. Now, I don't know, I don't know if like once you get the 94, that's gonna be it for the takeover mode, but if I was y'all, this is what I'ma do, alright? I'm not making a pure archetype. I'm making a dual archetype just like last year. So that I can get the best of both worlds. You feel me? The best of both, the best of both worlds is, is always better. I'm gonna be the first one to tell you, bro. The best of both both worlds is always better, man. Unless you just playing the game for fun. See me, I'ma hit top rip. I'ma actually grind for top rip. So I don't, I don't, I don't need no pure archetype, bro. I don't need no pure archetype. Alright now. In NBA 2K18, y'all know the pure stretch five, right? Everybody had a pure stretch five, right? But me, what did I have? I had a shot PA stretch five, all right? There was no takeover mode on uh, 2K18, right? But I still went hard, right? I still was a 7-3 demi guy, 7-3 point guy, 7 I was still there, you feel me? So, imagine this, bro. Imagine a 7-3 shot creating stretch B with a grand man. Imagine all the stuff I'm going to be able to do. I'm not saying that that's going to be my actual build for the game. But I'm just saying, like, actually imagine. Imagine imagine what I'm going to be able to do once I'm in takeover mode with, with a 7-3 shot pain stretch B. Hitting, hitting fadeaways from three. Hitting fadeaways from the three, bro. That's going to be so crazy. Like, that's what I'm saying, like. Don't, bro, don't let these, bro, choose, ha have your archetype in your mind and choose what you want to make, bro. Choose what you want to make, bro, that's all okay. And, bro, and on top of all of that, bro, what you going to end up doing, all right, what you going to end up doing, you going to end up making an archetype that you don't want all because another YouTuber said it, bro. You going to be following in somebody else's footsteps. You're going to be following somebody else's footsteps. Then you're going to make a bill that you don't want. And then you're going to spend all that VC making. You're going to spend some more VC making a, making a new dude. When all you had to do was listen to yourself in the first place. Now me, I'm going to listen to myself regardless, bro. I listened to myself in, I listened to myself in NBA 2K18 and made the playmaking stretch B. I listened to myself in 2K19, I mean, I'm going to listen to myself in NBA 2K19 too. I ain't going to tell y'all what I make, but whatever I make, he going to be what I make, bro. Now, I'm going to give y'all a hint. Whatever I make is between uh, uh, Giannis Bill. Y'all know who Giannis is. He played for the Bucks. It's either going to be between the Giannis Bill, bro. Hold on. His Bill, his, he either going to be between Giannis. I don't know how to say his name. Untech, Tuck, Coat. Tomb, Bo, <laughs> Facts. It, it's gonna be, bro. It's gonna be whatever I want to be, bro. But, bro, the takeover mode sound mad cheesy on NBA 2K19, but that's for us to find out, bro. The prelude come in three days. The prelude come in three days, and y'all gonna see my build on the prelude the very first day. So make sure y'all turn on post notification and stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. But, anyways, hey, 
I'm out, man. It's your boy, dude. Nina's man. Game.